The Roosevelt Rough Riders see themselves as more than just another Seattle High School girls basketball team. They're tough, they're strong, and they're passionate about the game. So tough that a filmmaker spent seven years following the team and its unusual coach, Bill Ressler. Ressler is a tax professor by day and a coach by night. His star player, Donelia Russell, shapes the team in unexpected ways. The film, The Heart of the Game, opens tomorrow in New York and Los Angeles. The coach and his star player stopped by NPR's New York Bureau to talk about the film. I asked the coach about the end result. I was absolutely stunned when I saw the movie the first time. I knew what he was filming when I was around, but I had no idea that he would capture the emotion of these teenagers and all the craziness that goes on at Roosevelt. Here you were, a university professor, and decided on your own to be uh, part of this team, volunteering your time, or at least offering up your expertise, if you will, to be coach of this high school basketball team. Why did you decide to do that? I've loved basketball my entire life, and I do view it as community service. I, I, people who know me well know I'm the most conceited human being on the planet, <laughs> and I believe that my life lessons should be taught to teenagers. Here's the interesting part. You didn't necessarily have a whole lot of coaching experience, but as you suggest there, you felt you had a whole lot of life experience to give these young ladies. That's right. I've read a lot of basketball books, but I'm completely non-athletic, so it was a fairly scary proposition. I'm sitting there thinking, do I want this head coaching job or not? Because it'll be the first time in my life that an entire program is looking to me for its direction, and that, that to me is scary. When I finally got the call, I got the job, and I sat down and I thought, what have I done to myself? I mean, I was, I was honestly frightened. Darnelia, let me ask you, now here's a, a team that you sign up for. Clearly, you were a supreme and superb athlete going in. When you found out that this was going on, the taping, and that, in fact, it would be a part of you being a part of this team, what was your first thought? At first, I didn't, I didn't really even know why he was there filming or whatever, but I didn't mind it too much. <laughs> did, did it become just like a fly on the wall? You didn't even think about it after a while? And in the beginning, did you think about it? In the beginning, I did. I was just like, why? You know, <laughs> I didn't know what he was doing. So I'm like, why is he following us around? But then after a while, you just get used to it because he didn't really talk that much or really say anything except for if we had breaks or something during practice. So I've always viewed Ward as a fly on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask this, uh, or Darnelia, when you think about your story isn't necessarily all that atypical in, in the sense of an African-American athlete going across town to another school, this one mostly white. But as the story played itself out, uh, your life took some turns and it really became pivotal to this film. What happened? Um... I became pregnant um, my junior year, and it was after state, and then I had um, stopped going to school, and then I started back in school. <laughs> so then it became a question of whether or not you were going to be eligible to play. Yes, correct. After I had my daughter, I came back to play, and I didn't have enough credits to be considered a senior, so... I had to do a fifth year, and I came back to do my fifth year, and when I did that, I was denied to um, be able to play basketball. So, Here you are pregnant. Uh -huh. You're looking at the idea of not being eligible. You're looking at the idea of having to raise a child, and you're looking at the idea of perhaps not being able to go down the road so many people had touted for you. Talk to me about how you must have been feeling at that point. I don't know. I was just really down and I cried a lot and just, it was really hard, but I don't know. I just wanted to do it, so <laughs> I just kept going. I don't know. Co Coach, let like, me ask you this. H how has it been for you to deal with young people, young females, and the idea of all of what comes in a very complex society now and what they have to face? When you started this, ha did you have any idea what you'd face? Well, I raised three daughters, so I, I had a feeling for teenage girls. But I really was a fish out of water in terms of how in the world am I going to coach these girls and so forth. And I knew that the most important thing that I was going to do is train them to be empowered, to own their own turf, to run their lives as adults and 
know what is their territory and, and keep complete control over it. How I was going to teach those lessons, I didn't know. But I'm a pretty confident person, so I figured somehow as we go through this, I'm going to be able to get those lessons across. What's it been like for you to have uh, the coach in your life? And talk to me about what he's meant to you. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> People ask me that all the time, and I just, like, always start crying. But um, I don't know. He's just always been there for me on the court, off the court. Anytime I have a problem, I could always go to him and talk to him about it. And I don't know. I just feel like he's a person that I feel like I can't let down and that I want him to see me succeed because he believes in me so much, so <laughs> I don't know. I'm one of the few lucky people to meet Darnelia Russell. At least 10 times I've told her that Darnelia Russell is my only chance of being famous. Coach, when you look back to think about the, the inspirational basketball and sports movies that we have seen through the years, this one... Uh, certainly by critics has been talked about in terms of taking its place uh, on the list. Is this something that you hope serves as a tool for others, for young women who are going to go into um, not only the, the, the battleground of sport, but what is for many a difficult time coming into your own being, if you will? Uh, I hope so. Um, Ward has done a wonderful job of capturing what you go through in high school and the, the things that you have to accomplish. But I really think that the movie stands for the, the idea that you never should judge people based upon their mistakes. You judge them by how well they fix their mistakes. It's all about picking yourself up uh, once you fall. The uh, documentary is called The Heart of the Game, and as I said, it is as much about life as it is basketball, and we appreciate you both. Thank you. Thank you. To see a clip from The Heart of the Game, go to our website at NPR dot org.